From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Welcome, brother Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Enough of the Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh, bop, bop. Welcome everybody, this is D from Brooklyn, the Assistant Chiefy, with another great YouTube update for you. Today I'm going to give you a little quick, very basic way to trim and cultivate your plants. It's very simple, but what I see the hardest stumbling block for people is getting over that first cut. So I'm going to just go over how I made some of the trimmings in my tank here. And you can do it too. It's easy. Let go of the fear. Have confidence that you can do it and you too can have a great planted aquarium. Now, let's go into it. Okay, now there's several reasons why you wanna really get used to uh, trimming and propagating and cultivating your plants in a planted aquarium. One of the main reasons is overgrowth. You know, plants will grow and utilize every bit of nutrients in the water. It can even become dangerous to your fish and other wildlife that you have growing in the tank. So it's very important to keep a natural balance. Also, in a planted tank, what happens is plants utilize their roots in order to absorb the nutrients from the water. You'll also have to get comfortable with keeping these under control, knowing when it's too much, and also being able to identify healthy roots from unhealthy roots. So one of the things that you want to look for is how your plants are rooting up, which is how they extend roots do the roots extend down are they brown are they white very important and it's going to be one of the main things that you're going to look for prior to propagating and cultivating your plants in your aquarium the other thing is going to be how long do you want your roots to extend this can be for a decorative uh focal point or can actually stimulate the growth in the top part of your plants. The longer your roots grow, I find, the slower the top growth on the plant becomes. So, you know, the plant can either put all of its energy into growing leaves or it can put all of the energy into growing roots. So you want to keep close tabs on how your roots are growing uh, versus how the top of your plant is growing. And also that's going to be a sign of health in the plant because prior to uh, trimming plants, if you want to trim your plant in order to get more plants and otherwise propagate your plants, you want to look for plants and which ones are extending roots because this is going to be where you're going to make a majority of your cuttings. You're going to look for those roots and you're going to use those as starting points for where you trim your plants. One more quick tip. Um, you might want to have a target. And when I say target, like my little uh, acclimation tank here, you can see I use it for betas, I use it for my guppies, uh, which I started breeding. Uh, you want to have something to do with the plants that you trim. Either you can donate them to your local aquarium society or aquarium club, or you want to have a little target tank that you can move the cuttings to until they begin to root up. If you don't want to replant them directly in the tank, I like to root them up and then plant them back in the tank depending on what type of plant it is, or you can just cut them and put them right back in the tank. But in in keeping the hobby strong you never want to just throw out plants if you can give them to another aquarist or donate them all right let's get into the cutting okay don't mind the dramatic music but i like it and i thought it add a little life to the video anyway basically first thing you need is a good pair of scissors scissors blah 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 i make it a point to use one pair of scissors for my planted tank that i'm not using for anything else that means no kid projects no paper mache no nothing like this you don't want to transfer any chemicals glue or anything like that so the scissors i use for my tank plain old pair of scissors i keep them nice and sharp so this way i get good cuts you know so just plain old pair of scissors all right make sure your hands are clean you know, make sure your hands are clean. That means no soaps. Wash your hands with regular water because there is a little bit of getting your hands wet. And you don't want to transfer any chemicals to your tank. All right, so simple. Let's look at the plants. 
basically before you propagate some plants more important than others I look for existing roots Kabamba is one of those plants you really don't have to worry about but if you look at the other plants in my tank you'll see lots of healthy roots so if you're propagating or you want to take a cutting for a plant you want to start with something that has an existing root structure on it it makes it a lot easier to get a new plant out of it if it has an existing root structure I'll see if I can focus here but anyway this is the look bigger uh, if you've seen in my earlier videos you'll see that it was way down there and it's grown all the way up to the surface of the tank which is the same for a few other pieces I have some here that's not as red and some in the back of the tank which is harder to see so as you can see there's roots going up several portions of the plant and that is going to be my cutting point that is going to be um, top stalk of the plant I always like to leave a top stalk so that you don't end up with let me see this this is a portion that I cut from the kabamba it'll grow out but this is a plant that you don't usually see the effects of, you know, a dull cut because it'll regrow a new head. Hard to see, but there's a new head up there. Ludwigia is one of those plants that will grow and split into two like that. So what I do is I take a rooted part, cut just below that rooted part, and I'll take you through the process. It'll be real quick. Okay. Now I'm going to take my scissors, very sharp, I'm going to reach for that stalk area just above that head which is going to be the top of my new plant, make sure that I have roots on it, and here's the part where you got to be brave. I'm going to take a nice little hold of this plant, and I'm going to make a sharp cut right there, and now you have another plant. As you can see, it's very healthy. I have some root structure on here. I have a good clean cut. I'm going to remove the plant's leaves from that bottom portion, which is going to be my new root area. You know, you want to get the plant to encourage it to grow the roots. So what I do is I get the root area here. I remove the leaves from the bottom. And there you have a new base. All right? Now, simple enough, I'm going to put it back in the tank. I'm going to allow it to root up on its own. Bear with me. I have a little spot already picked out for it. It'll root up. And now we have two plants. Oh, look at that. Posterior grabbing on me. That's growing a lot too. I'm going to have to trim that soon too. As you can see, I get a lot of good growth from plants growing in the tank. Now one plant, it's two plants. Clean up your mess. And let me mention, even these little cuttings, I like to leave in the tank in a little corner, because even this little piece can grow into a new plant. So I will stick that right up here where I can keep an eye on it. And that's it. That's all there is. All right. Now I want to give a special shout out to the people on eBay. I believe his name is uh, J Burn underscore T2. I believe he sells a lot of good plants. I bought my original Luigia plant from him uh, about two months or about a month ago. And as you can see, beautiful plant. Shipped it very quickly. The plant's very healthy. And I believe in supporting my people that I uh, support just as they support me on eBay. So, Jay Byrne, thank you very much. As you can see, taking good care of the plants, doing well in my tank. And uh, that's it. So, you know, stay tuned for some updates. I'll give you an update in a few weeks, maybe two weeks. And you'll check on and see how my little cutting is doing. So, until then, this is Dee from Brooklyn, the assistant chiefy. Take care of your tanks. Keep tanks and keep your sanity by keeping your tanks. Take care.